Hello there. Welcome to another video of Codeio. In this video, we will be talking about how to add contacts into the Godial CRM. Now, there are multiple ways to do it require, depending on your requirements. So without wasting any time, let's log in and get started. Once you're on your web dashboard, you have to straight away go to the CRM tab. And this is where you are. Now, you can see that there are multiple options here. We'll talk about all of them. First up, let's start about adding a list. Now, what is a list? A list, let's say it's like a folder where all the contacts for a particular campaign or maybe for a particular ad or maybe for a particular department, you have the contacts off. So you import your contacts into lists. In GoDial, everything is recognized by lists. Now, the first thing that we'll do is we'll click on new list and add a list. So a list is created. So the next step is to add a contact. So we'll straight away go and click on add contact. Here we'll put down the contact number. We'll put in all the details and click add. That's it. So it's that simple. You can simply come here and click on add a contact. The next step is to add an Excel file or a CSV file or any spreadsheets. Now for that, there are two things that you have to keep in mind. So first let us click on import contacts and see what are those two things. Here we'll click on upload file v2. Here we are. So we'll click on file requirements and you can see what are the requirements that are needed. So your Excel file should only have one sheet. So if there are multiple sheets, let's say you have an Excel file where there's sheet one, sheet two, sheet three, and you want to import data from sheet three, you just have to click on it, drag it right in front and import it. The next one is that every column should have a name. So every column that you're importing should be having a name in it. Perfect. Now what we'll do is we'll close this and we'll click here. What we'll do is now we'll quickly create a Excel file and see what all columns are needed. So here I have my Excel. Now the most asked question is that what fields are there and what type of fields we have to put in? What is the template that is required to import contacts in GoDial? Well, none of those things are required. You can simply have your own contacts. You can have the way you want it. There is no fixed template in Godal because eventually you'll be mapping them. But there are a few things that you have to keep in mind with the rules that I just told. So let's say you will have columns, maybe like name. Obviously, there will be contact. And then you can have company and obviously email. So these are the basic ones that you have. You can have more if you need. But make sure that your columns are right in the first row. Now, I have seen uh, clients do this. So I'll just show you what happens. Now, let's say there's a row right up here. And it has maybe something like this written. Now, this format will not be taken into GoDial because GoDial will always come up and read the columns here and the columns start from the second row and not the first row. So please, if you have something like this, avoid it and delete it. We'll come back here and here is what will start adding the contacts. So we have added two contacts and obviously you can have as many as you want. At a single go, we can accept around 15 to 20,000 contacts in a list. There can be more than that, but at a single go, we generally suggest that you have not more than 15,000, but yes, up to 20,000, you can import contacts. So what we'll do is we'll save this file.
perfect now let's get back to godang so we'll choose this file now so we'll click right here and we have it here and we'll click open the moment we do it and we click next and you can now see that the importing is there so name maps to column it's name for primary phone we'll click here and we'll select contact company it has already read email also it has already read so what we'll do is we'll quickly click on import And that's about it. So you have the contacts import. Now, the next step that comes up is, is to assigning the members. So what we'll do is we'll click on assign and we'll select who will be calling on this data. Now, if you're a manager, which has to, uh, which is the case in uh, my account, you will always be pre-assigned. Now you can remove that yourself and you can add your agent for calling. So once this is done, the contacts will move to the agents app now you have to always tell them that once they have to log out and log in from the app and then they can see the list and dial from there. So this was a basic import. Now let us see a scenario where you want to pre-assign the contact. So here it will be happening in a randomized manner. So for example, Rima may get the contact John right up front or Jacob or maybe Roy. So it depends in the order that GoDial decides and if there are more than one agent, it will always be in a randomized manner. So for example, let's say if I select the next agent, now this will be divided into now which number will go to which agent we or go dial cannot tell you till the last moment. Now, the way, best thing that can happen here is that no two agents will get one contact. So for example, if John is being called by the first agent, he will not be assigned to the second agent. Now, once this is done, let's move on and see how you can assign in another way. So what we'll do is we'll just click quickly, click on empty list. Now, if you click on empty list, the contents of this list will be deleted. That's it. Now, let's go back to our Excel file. Now, in this Excel file, what we'll do is we'll quickly come up here and type in maybe caller. All right. And we'll select. Now, let's get back to GoDial and we'll click on the username and we'll see. So, to know their usernames, you can come to team and members and we'll select. So, let's select this username. And we'll go back again to go dial and we'll select the other user. Perfect. So we have both the usernames. Now, why am I doing this? Now, if you do this, what happens is John will only be called by Ayantika and Jacob will only be called by Rima. So you are pre-assigning it. So if you have more contacts here, you can do it in the same manner. Now, once again, we'll save the file and we'll go back to GoDial and come back to CRM. Now, while you're doing this, make sure that you have already assigned the users before adding contacts into the list. So right now you can see there's Ayantika and Rima already assigned here. So you have to assign them beforehand in order to do it. So what we'll do is we'll quickly come up here, follow the same process, select the file and come to settings. Here you can see my data has the username of the assigned. So we'll click on this and it will ask you in which column. So here we have, it's the caller column and we'll click next. You can see once again, Primary phone maps to column. So we'll have contact. The rest is already mapped accordingly and we'll click import. Perfect. So now you can see this little box has come up, which says and the guy has been assigned one and Rima has been assigned the other. All right. And you can also see by check clicking here. If you click on assignee, you'll be able to see who has been assigned. 
Now, once this is done, now let's say there's a scenario where you have a master file in Excel. And from that master file, you want to split the contacts into different smaller lists. If that such a scenario is there, what you have to do is you have to first create the lists, just the list you have to create and follow the similar process, which we did for the assignment in terms of the lists. I'll show you how that happens. So once again, we'll just empty this list and we'll create two more lists. Perfect. We have the two lists and we'll once again go back to our Excel. So this time around, let us do one thing. Let us add a particular row. So we'll just name it. At this particular contact, we'll go to test A and this one will go to test B. And we'll once again save the file. And we'll come back to go time. Just to follow the same steps, we'll click on import contacts and we'll click on load file v2. We'll select our file and this time around, we'll just remove this selection and select this one. My data has the name of the list and which column obviously this time around the list column. You can obviously do the assignment as well. In that case, once again, you have to pre-assign the list to that agent in order to, for this to take place and then click next. We have it here. Once again, we'll just map the contact column because the rest are already there and click import. There we have. Perfect. So now you can see in test B, we have one contact and if we go to test A, we have another contact. So it works in this manner. And now you can move on with the assignments. And if you have already decided for the pre-assignment, you can do that as well. So here is basically how you can do it with your Excel. Now, there's another thing that happens, and particularly for the ones who are using Facebook integration, or you have an ad running on Facebook, where if you are downloading files from Facebook, what happens is that you generally do not have the country code mentioned or the plus at times is missing. For example, in India, what we have is plus 91 in front of a 10 digit number. Now, if you are importing it from an Excel sheet or let's say for a CSV, the plus is sometimes omitted. And what happens is since GoDial picks up the number as it is. So, for example, it will take up this number and it will give it to your SIM card to dial. Now, your SIM card obviously will tell this is a wrong number. So, in order to avoid that, what we'll do is we'll add a plus if there is such a scenario. I'll tell you how to do that also. So once again, we'll come up here, we'll click on import contacts, upload file, and we'll click here on I want to specify country code. You can add the plus or you can add all the other country codes that you have and it will be added in front of all the contacts that you have added. So that was there, all that was there to tell about adding contacts. Now, the next thing that we have is how to add a Google Sheet. It's so a very simple process. We just come up here once again, import contacts, select your Google Sheet, choose Google Sheet, and you're good to go. Now, you have to remember one thing. This is not a continuous integration. This is a one-time import. So if your Google Sheet has, let's, for example, say 50 numbers right now at 10 a.m., for example, so all those 50 will be taken in. Now, at 12 p.m., you have another 20 contacts added to that. In that case, if you import it again, those new 20 contacts will come. The new, the older contacts will not be imported because of duplication. So that was all that there is. Now, always you have to remember two things that once you have imported, you have to tell your agents to log out and log in. And number two, you have to keep in mind the requirements, which there are only two. There's your Excel should only have one sheet, your column. Every column should have a name.
Now, it might seem to be a big task. Now, what I have done over the years of me using GoDial, I have simplified it into three steps. So, I'll tell you what those steps are and we'll remember them. So, step one is to click on new list. So, we'll give it a name. Now, step two would always be to assign the members. So, step one, I have created a list. Step two, who will be calling in the in this list? So, I select them. Now, I can have multiple people. I can have one or three and I'll click save. Now, step three will always be, now I have the list. I have the people who will be calling in. Now, I need to put in the contacts. That's my step three. So, I'll click on import contacts. I'll come to upload file v2. Once again, I'll select the file click here now this time around you can see there's another option which is called assignment logic here I can actually equally split now this only happens if I have pre-assigned the callers to the list so I'll click on next once again the mapping is there and I can click on import and I'll click close now you can see it has been mapped all right. Now, since there were three users and there were only two contacts, so only two agents have been assigned and they have been done in the order that you had assigned them. So I was there as the manager first and Dika was there the second person. So she and I have only got the contacts. Now, a lot of time, just the last thing, a lot of time people actually have a question that, you know, we have other fields. So for example, you may have a field, something like as a subject or maybe a address or maybe uh, expiry date, maybe reference number. So there's nothing to worry. You can simply come up here, click on the settings tab. You can come here, click on custom fields and you can add your fields and there are multiple types. We'll have another video where I'll explain all these and how you can use them to the ultimate effect. But for now, you can just simply come up here, click on a field and you can check it. I'll actually also put the link of that video in the description box when you can check it but for now you can simply come up here you can type up a field and you can add it so that was all that there is to know about adding lists adding contacts assigning it to the agents splitting them specifying a particular contact in GoDial. hope you have a nice time and this video helps you a lot thank you please like share and subscribe to our channel Till then, take care.